As a Marine Corps officer who served on the southern border uh, in the Yuma sector of Arizona back in the mid-90s, I saw firsthand the impact of our border crisis. You know, back then I, I served in an area where there was a serious challenge of human trafficking and drug trafficking. I left, and, and several years later, a wall was erected in that very area. And we saw the number of illegal crossings plummet. I returned to the same sector in, in May of this year and discovered that the crisis had returned. Why? A complete vacuum in leadership by the Biden-Harris administration. Look, we have seen an absolute surge in the number of illegal crossings. In fact, uh, we're on track four years end to see over a million illegal crossings. And this is, make no mistake, a 50-state border crisis. This impacts the people of Indiana. In fact, some of these um, uh, individuals who have illegally crossed have, have uh, been sent by the Biden administration uh, without consultation with uh, U.S. senators and other elected officials into Fort Wayne, Indiana, and, and other places uh, across the country, dispersed throughout the country, and um, the situation's uh, obviously uh, growing worse and worse. Meanwhile, the Biden administration continues to undo much of the good border security work that we've accomplished as Republicans in recent years. Just the latest is, is this uh, proposal to eliminate Title 42. So um, it's time that uh, we reestablish leadership. It's time that uh, either President Biden or our Southern border czar, Vice President Harris, uh, shows up as it relates to this issue. Uh, lead, follow, or get the heck out of the way.